Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to episode number 7 in the FC Barcelona Career Mode Part 2. Today is my birthday! I'm 12. I wish myself a great birthday, and I hope I'm going to have an amazing birthday. This episode, though, I'm turning 12, by the way, we're playing Villarreal, we are playing Betis, and probably Benefica. Those are probably the teams we're going to face. We do have Villarreal that is coming up, and we have a higher first team. So it will be the second team who will get the start. Oh, I should have started Ansu, but he's not fully fit. Ansu is not yet fully recovered. Therefore, we can't start him, or else we're going to have to sub him off in the game because of his injury. Here we go. We need to work on our finishing, especially Santi Mina. He missed a lot of chances. We also missed, we could have made that game versus Bayern 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, 5, could have, but we didn't. We had a very good game though, we were able to win that game 1-0 at home, the defending Barajo. Francis Kukulin, in the middle, Leandro Paredes, Zach Stefan with a good save, Let's catch it Zach, good work there. Oh, Santi Mina. Gavi with a good ball over the top to Hiroke Abe, who plays an excellent pass to San Santi to Yusuf Demir, who plays an excellent pass. Santi Mina then plays an ex excellent pass into. Wait, wait, what? That was a confusing sequence, but it was good passing work there. Pablo Gavi, we have conceded a lot of goals, and yes, in our time. Ooh, that's a red for Araujo. I feel like it just has to be, and it is. The captain's going to get himself sent off eight minutes in. That is not what you want to see, and Ronald Araujo is going to miss the game versus Betis. Oh, how has they scored that? Oxalito stays onside. Due to Eric Garcia being on the line, immediately concede after the red card from that free kick. We got a reply. That was if Eric Garcia had not. Oh, hold on. Hiroki Abe is in, and it's a penalty, and surely a red card. Come on, it's not even a red. It's a free kick. That has to be a penalty. Come on, Santimina. Put this in! Oh, it's a good save by Guillermo Rulli! We're going to play the corner in. We don't have that height with the, like how we had with Araujo on the corners. Eric Garcia takes the armband. Oh, we have to rush that run from Otto Witzel. Jared Moreno has a goal. That's a brilliant strike. We are right now down to 10 men, which is very bad. Because we are going to get caught out slowly as the game progresses, I feel like. Yusuf Demir. In the middle. Santi Mina goes for the header. With Jeremo Rulli with an excellent save. How far our throw, good defending by Garcia. Mingueza, Eric. Yusuf Demir. Santi Mina. Brilliant pass behind to Gavi, but his first touch was very poor, the young teenager. But that was good build up play. Oh, Yusuf Demir with a good challenge. Ah, but we lose that as Demir's pass was not good enough to get into Santi Mina. We need that Ansu Fati right now. I, I'm telling you, once he comes back, it's going to be such a lifesaver for us because Ansu Fati is a brilliant player. 
Santi Mina is in. Shoots! Oh, Jeremy Rulli with a very good save there to deny Santi Mina. Ricky Pui to Yusuf Demir. Eric Garcia has a goal with his weaker foot. It wasn't a bad try from the young Spaniard. Oh. Oh, Zach Steffen grabs that. I had to stay central with Garcia because if I commit it, I knew they would play the pass in immediately and that would be bad and probably a goal. Oh, that's just wide there. Very all have countered well. It's been a pretty even game so far. They've just had the better chances. Ball days pushing forward. I don't get why Hiroke Abe was not pushing up and making like an overlapping run. What a save, Zach Steffen! But he spills it on the follow up. It's Francis Kukulin who gives Villarreal the two goal cushion. And come on, guys. First team was too tired to play with the game versus Betis, who are probably way tougher opponents than Villarreal. But this 10 men situation is not helping us. It's a goal kick. <clears throat> I need a center back right now. I, I know we need it. I need Matias to lit. They're both right footed. There's no one who's left footed. And I'd rather put in the lit. The lit's a very good center back. And he's tall. So he can help us from corner. We're 2 0 down. We need something from one of these players to just get us back in this game or to pull us level mate. just to give us hope that we can still win Hiroke Abe at the back post oh cleared away Ricky Puig Ricky Puig what a save by Guillermo Rulli Yusuf Demir, Eric Garcia with the header just over the bar. We have had a, we have had some, for sure a, lo, a good amount of chances, but that we could have easily scored like that Ricky Puig's shot, which we did miss. Mingueza comes across, but Zach Steffen has to make a very good save. Oh, Rafa gets, turns Ricky Puig, Paul Torres, Kukulon, Gerard Moreno, Zach Steffen with a good save. He is saving us tonight because there have been some chances where Villarreal could have just put the game away completely. But they have not. The lit. It's cleared. And it's just wide there from Atso Witzel. Eric Garcia, Oscar Mingueza. Oof! Otzel Witzel is really causing us problems. <sighs> the amount of problems that Axel Witzel has caused us in this game is very frustrating. Half time and we do need a hero. We need someone to come on. We need a Dembele. I think that's just a perfect player. Come on. His pace, his skills. I think I'm going to play him on this side. And for Hiroke Abe. Here we go. Let's hope he has an impact here. Oh, versus Villarreal. Immediately he gets stopped there. Not a good start for him. He's going to be the star player right now in this game. The lit defends that. Oh. I knew that it would make the pass, and I gotta recover. Hold up. Garcia makes the block, and now it's Ricky Pui. Does well to skip past one defender. It's Santi Mina. At the back post, Dembele! Jeremy Rulli with a good save! It's Dembele with the excellent try. Come 
Oh, scrimming was a lot ago! But General Ruli with another good save, and he keeps making good saves. Yusuf Demir. Oh, Ricky points at the back post. Yusuf Demir, Dembele, Mingueza. I don't know who was supposed to get on that. That was not the greatest. There was no one really in the box. We need Sterling. I'm telling you all that we do need Sterling right now. Why is Eric Garcia not at the back? Raheem Sterling is going to come on and hopefully he has an impact to where we can pull him back and hopefully try to go and get a tie or maybe a victory. I have to take him out. That was the only option. Whoa! Double red cards! Okay, understandable. Now we are definitely in trouble. We do need a striker. I might just have maybe Ricky Puig slide into CB. Or maybe we'll have Ricky Puig go here and have D. Oh, I'm out of subs. Dang it. Well, we're in trouble. We're down to nine men, two nil down. I think Araujo's red card is what affected us, Mom. Oh, hold on. Sterling comes on with his pace. He's in. Sterling, he pulls one back for us. Immediate impact from sub Raheem Sterling. His pace is unbearable. He just capitalized on the chance and pushed forward and buried it in the corner past Jeremy Ruli. All good defending by Nico. I need someone to defend this. I'm not sure who. What a block by Oscar Mingueza. Here is Raheem Sterling. Demarle needs to switch. Oh, they're on the right side. The Sterling has definitely made an impact. Oh, he's offside, luckily. The very alpha word. Alde is super tired. He did play versus Bayern and had a good game. So I'm not sure how much longer he's going to be able to go on. And we are out of subs, so we can't sub him off or anything. Oh, they missed that. That could have easily wrapped the game up for, for, for us. But I'm not giving up. Trust me. I'm going to keep fighting until the very last second. We do need this victory. Nico. It's Raheem. Santi Mina! Your finishing has got to get better, man. That was a huge chance for Santi Mina to level it. And he did not. Oh no, we are in trouble. Mingueza, Nico, come on, somebody. Nico, it's 
Santimino. Nico screaming for it. Ricky Puig. Oh, good block there. Mingueza is definitely caught out. There's a lot of numbers. They go alone. Oh, Villarreal have really missed some chances, and I really do hope it's going to come back to bite them at the end. I just am really annoyed with Santi Mina because his finishing has been so bad. Foul, ref! That's not a foul? Like, come on. What's it going to take for this man's call a foul? Zach, stuff and catch it, bro. Quickly. Come on, we don't have time, Zach. I think the threat has been averted. Alex Balde is exhausted. So he can't make the overlap. Oh, he, he decided not to pass it in the end, which ended up being a mistake. What a good save there by Zach Steffen. It's do or die at this point. We just got to go. We need every man forward. Man, we really needed that finishing ability from Santimino tonight, and I'm very disappointed. I am thinking about selling him in January because he is not producing the goals, and his finishing is very poor. And the man I was thinking of signing is Alexander Izak. Full time, three one loss to Villarreal, two red collars. Do not worry, though, we will be back, and we're still lower in the league but we'll respond but and i am gonna sell on to me in january i've just seen from this little part of the season that he deserves to be sold i'm telling you all right now he is gonna just make us i don't know what he's gonna do but it's not gonna be good oh onsu he should be back by now i'm gonna start putting him back in the second team lineup Fati's fully fit. Onto is good to go. So Fati. I would use a center back. So probably Oscar goes out. I would like to go on. I don't know who they're going to put. Someone good. And I need this victory, guys. So I need the team to come through with this victory. I need this victory, and I need the next victory. I may just simulate Benfica now that I know that we have, we are automatically through, but I still think it'll be interesting to play them. Ter Stegen just... Beats William Jose, Rodrigo de Paul. First team is thousand times better than second team. Second team just laughed with finishing. Rodrigo de Paul straight at Claudio Bravo. Jordi Alba, oh, not a bad ball in, but it's clear away. Offside was Pedri. A 
team full of stars and you never quite know who is out that's out perhaps you have to be the ball went out well it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player he can go past defenders with ease he can play in tight areas and he has that Deong is faster than Joaquin oh, I needed a better ball from Pedri out there Play on. Oh. Memphis has cannot finish that in a clear 1v1 situation. Memphis Depay, as a striker, soon to be a striker at least, has got to finish that. Walter Stegen catches that excellently. Betty's take the lead. This is our real problem. We always go down first. Like this actually reminds me of Barca in real life. They always go down first and are stuck chasing the game. We just need a reply. We just need equalizer, and then we need a goal. And then I want—I'll just either go for the third or just hang on, because once we get the third, and if it's three-one, still. It's two because that is an excellent bicycle kick from Joaquin. Who was left strandly open by our defenders. And now we are stuck just like we were versus Villarreal. Chasing a two goal. Oh, that's an excellent ball into Pedri. We pull one back here. It's Pedri with a brilliant goal. The best was the pass from Sterling. He just sneaks it in. And Pedri finishes that with his weaker foot, lethally. Now, if we can reply here, that'll be excellent. Oh, Jordi Alba. Sterling. Oh, Dembele is luckily back there to help cover that mess up. Or else we would be a hot mess. Ter Stegen comes off. And I do know the formation has switched. You know, Dembele is an, would be an excellent fullback just because of his pace. Even though Dest is incredibly quick, we all know Dembele is faster. Ter Stegen, Sterling with a good, decent, not a half bad header to Memphis. Oh, the lit, Sterling. Foul! Ref, that's a foul! I gotta see that replay, and I think that was a foul or a flop. Right, okay. Right here, he comes and trips him. That's got to be a foul. And a throw in it's going to be. Jordi Alba. And he put it in. Oh, Dion. Pedri, what a good save. That's going to go in. It's on the double for Pedri. He scores a similar goal like Joaquin. It did just cross the line. Bravo cannot keep it out. And Alex Moreno can't clear it off the line. It already had crossed the line before he 
smashed it in. The Betty's player smashed it in. Smashed it to try to get it away. We replied with a thud. It's two goals from Pedri. Two brilliant finishes from the young, from the young player. Ansu will come on tonight. I'm telling you all this, just so you get excited because Ansu has been out for the last two half month, two and a half months. And I'm really excited to see him back in the squad, and I'm just hoping he's still pretty sharp. Memphis, it's a brilliant ball. Dembele, Sterling. Oh, I tried to play it behind to Jordi Alba. Oh, what a good save by Ter Stegen, and he pounces on it. And it's half time! We are 2-2 with Betis. It has been a thriller so far, and I hope we can get the win. Later in the second half, he's going to be coming on, on Sue. But right now, since we are doing so well, let's keep... And we are scoring. We are beating the defense. Let's just keep the team how it is, the rhythm how it is. Oh, this is surely got to be a goal, and it is coming off the out of the tunnel. Sterling scores, and there's unless we get the fourth goal, then there's no way I'm subbing this man off. He is so overpowered in the game. His speed is so dangerous. Him and Mbappe are both so dangerous in the game just because of their pace. If you're an incredibly pacey player, you're dangerous. Like the type of pace that Sterling and Mbappe have. It's dangerous. Like, they're dangerous. Like, more dangerous than any other player. Speed is a huge advantage. Longley plays it back. Ter Stegen boots that nicely up the field. Rodrigo DePaul. Oh, Willian Jose has a go. It's just wide there from Willian. Oh, poor pass there. Pedri, look at that space for Dembele. Oh, I got to cross that. He's off. I did not think he was off personally. Time to bring on on, so he needs some time to play, get back in the rhythm. Sterling has had an amazing game with an assist and a goal. But let's just let on to play. I've been wanting to use him since he got back from injury. Since the doctor messaged us that he can return. But to not play him too soon. I've been waiting for him to be fully fit for a long two months. Oh, that's a terrible shot by Nabal Fekir. It's Sterling. His last act before the ball goes out or his substitution will be made. Dembele, Serginho Dest, oh that's cleared away very well. There was nobody there. We are playing smartly though. Dest, we are being very patient. Offside. Sterling will now be coming off. 
Here he comes, our number 10, Ansu Fati. Let's hope he can announce his return with a goal. Oh, what? Where was the foul? Hold up. Where was there a foul in this sequence? Let's see. I think it was right here, but he didn't play advantage. If there was nothing over there, why would it be over there? There was no advantage and nothing. Oh, Pedri. Dembele, Fati went for that. Dion skies that attempt. Ricky Poy will come on. The Paul has had a good game, but he is exiting the field. Oh, what a terrible pass by Bravo to Memphis! And Memphis finishes that! And that's surely got to be the game versus Betis. Claudio Bravo with the hideous pass to our captain. The top scorer in the league. With 11 goals now. Talk about a brilliant finish off of a terrible pass from Bravo. Two goals from Pedri, one from Sterling, and one from Memphis. Now if we can make it 5-2, that would be brilliant. That would just make a statement. Ansu. He hasn't really got on the ball. I want him to get on the ball. That's clean from Jordi Alba. Ansu with his pace. Wants to go solo. But he still has, I think he still has a little tiny bit of rust to get off after his injury layoff. Alex Morano. Moreno, what a terrible shot that is. Dalit, Jordi Alba, Mitrovic from Fulham. That's a bad pass. And Ricky committed. Hold up. The lit does really well there to stop Nabal Fekir. And speaking of the lit, he is driving on. Plays it to Fati. Foul. We're going to get the foul there. Now, if Memphis can score this free kick. It will be a brilliant free kick. Memphis! It's just too much power on it from Memphis. I really want Ansu to score or to get Pedri a hat trick. Or for Pedri to get a hat trick. I just want one more goal. I really do want it, actually. Or just somebody to get a goal. I just want the fifth goal. It'll be like the actual Barca versus Betis game last season, not this season, last. Oh, watch that run. Long late stops his man so well there. And it's Ricky. De Jong with the excellent pass through to Dembele. That was... We should have passed it sooner into Pedri. Probably could have shot it. Oh, I see a bit of tired legs at the back. Wow, they're really missing a lot of chances. Let's have Oscar Mendoza come on. He's a right center back, and he's... Longlitz had a good game, a very good game, but he's just tired. Fati turns his man very well. Beats Edgar. Save by Ter Stegen. What a double save. 
the first shot from Mitro Mitrovic, and then Ter Stegen stretches to save that. We have secured three points here. Are they going to score from their last chance? They have definitely had some chances to tie this game. But they just have not took them, and we took our chances. Like I wanted to, us to do. And we do get the victory here versus Real Betis. And that is a big win for us. Advance. We are... Why are we playing Benefica? Maybe we should just simulate them. I mean, we don't need to play them. We'll play this also soon, and this will determine. If also soon are like in relegation, then we might as well just play Benfica. That win, by the way, moved us up to 14th. Another win would probably move us to 12th. Also soon are just a, under us, one place under us. I think we should play Benfica, even if they're last. It will still be a tough game. Second team will play, because if we lose, then we technically, we still technically, will still go through, because they have four points, and if they won, they'll get seven. But this is, I think, to go top of the group, if I'm not wrong, this win. Maybe, possibly, I'm not sure because of our losses to Bayern the first time and Benefica the first time. Let's see how this game will play out versus Benefica. Oh, Zach Steffen catches that. Santi Mina, if he doesn't score a huge chance that he has in this game, I'm for sure selling him January. I'm already planning on doing so, but... No, Balde, why are you wasting your energy trying to run there? I'm so glad Ansu is back in the squad. He's going to add some finishing ability that we have been missing for these two months. Nika Ansu. Oh, son. Just a bit heavy from Antu. If it was just a taddest bit lighter, he would have used to, uh, Santi Mino would have got there. Eric Garcia gets fouled there by Darwin Nunez, or it was offside. I think it was offside. That is a poor pass by Oscar Mingueza. I'm not going to do anything silly, get a red card, because I don't want anyone suspended for the round of 16. Nico. Darwin Nunez with a huge miss. That could have easily gave Benefica the lead. This is still a big game for Benefica. I still expect them to get competitive because if they do win, they'll go to and Benef Dinamo Kiev lose, which likely is going to happen versus Bayern. As long as they win and Dinamo lose, then they'll be going to the Europa League. Maybe not the exact champion. Maybe it's not the same as the Champions League, but it's better than, like, just going out. In my opinion. Andorajo. Nico. To Ansu. Oscar with a good go header to Gavi. Demir. 
Santimina, Ansu Fati. Can't get past his man. Nico was a good challenge. I'm so hungry. I just want to eat dinner. Mangueza, Nico, Gavi. Oh, it's off the bar. Oh, that's a goal. A ball they should have blocked that. He tried to, but he couldn't. Everton gives Benfica the lead. They have been the better team so far. Oh, I went in for that challenge. I definitely went in. I will sub Eric Garcia off at halftime now that he, not that he is on a yellow. We can't take any risks. No risks. Demir. Demir with excellent skills here, but he just doesn't didn't have an option. He had to go solo. Eric Garcia has got to be incredibly careful. Mingueza does well. These refs in FIFA have been getting ridiculous recently. Oh, Demir. I was like on my own. What a good save. Araujo almost made the challenge. That could have been a red card. That, now that is a good challenge. And it's halftime. And we are currently scoreless. I mean, 1 0 down. But I think we'll reply. Oh, subbing off Eric Garcia. I just do need. You know, I'm just going to wait on Eric Garcia subbing. Sometimes it happens where in the Champions League, if your player gets a red card, they just transfer it technically to the other, to a La Liga game. That happens in FIFA sometimes. That's happened. But I don't know if that will happen. Yeah, Bayern, Dinamo, Kiev are down. So if this holds for Benfica, they're going to the Europa League. And we're going to the round of 16. Because we do have three wins, nine points, and both Dinamo, Kiev, and Benfica have four points. And even if one of the teams gets a victory, they'll still be at seven. Because each win is three points. And we have three wins, one versus Bayern, and two versus Dinamo, Kiev. Mouth-watering tussle from La Liga. 
Amiga coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Barcelona, and they'll be up against Osasuna. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium. Oh, look at this, Stuart. Oh! Araujo really slapped off there. Honestly, I'm sorry. You have not had a good return. You can come in for Sterling. Even though I don't really want to win this game, but I do want to win this game at the same time. You know? I could take it easy, but then I want the win, you know? We just really have not been at our best tonight. We haven't gotten forward like how we've done in other games and made teams all hold that thought. Santi Mina with a brilliant finish there. Now that's how you score a goal. He finally gets his goal that he's been looking for. That's a good interception by Nico. Good pass through by Gavi. Santi Mina just takes a touch and he buries it in the top corner. Oh, that's just wide. His timing just wasn't there. Well, it's always difficult to hit those perfectly, and unfortunately. <gasps> oh, that's a poor pass. We are just one goal away from an uh, equalizer, so we have got to keep this form up. We did it versus Betis, and then we ended up getting the victory. So if we can keep this pressure, or get some sort of chances to score, then I think we could win this game. We just really need to get going. We still have barely got out of second. I don't even think, whoa! I was like, he's onside? How is Everton onside off of that? But he wasn't. He has to clear that was his weaker football day. And he has to sprint across to get there. Gavi. It's Sterling here to Gavi. Good defending there. But Gavi won a foul. Um, maybe, but... Not exactly sure on that. Ball days forward here. Gavi off the crossbar there from the young player. Oh. We'll bring in De Dest. Let him play up top a bit. Oh, he's tired. I don't know why I'm playing him. But he might just help our situation. In need, we are in need of a goal. That's not going out. I thought that was going out personally. Araujo. Sterling. Oh, Gavi, come on. We, our passing sometimes is a bit heavy. Oh, Gavi's still going. He gave it his all right there. Oh, but the keeper nearly made a mistake there. I'd be very happy if we could get a late equalizer here. Not a caution for Ajo. I want Eric Garcia off the pitch right now because of his yellow card, and it's just making me uncomfortable, the yellow card. Let's just take him off. 
And I don't want them suspended. We just can't make any silly fouls with the lit. If they're in, they're in. And we'll hope Ter Stegen saves it. Oh. Santi Mina! And he scores! The goal for Santi Mina! He has for sure improved his finishing tonight. Brilliant work there, here by Santi Mina. And it's 2-2 in the 86th minute. We have got to go for the victory. To infinity and beyond. Come on, guys. They try to chip Zach Steffen. That was a poor throw from him, actually, Zach Steffen. Offside. It's our ball. It's our last chance if we want to win this game. Or else it's just going to be a tie. Which I wouldn't really care about since we're going through anyways, but I want the win. Mingueza. Oh, we try to play somebody through, but that is full time. A 2 2 draw versus Benefica. We are going through to the round of 16. Let's go. With our four shots, we scored two goals. With Benefica's 15 shots, they scored two goals. So clearly, we did take our chances better. Santi Mino with the double. I would love to be the manager of England, but cannot because I have this job I need to focus on. That's going to be all for today's episode, so thank you for watching. Make sure to like button down below. Subscribe to my channel. Comments are going to be on, so right, somebody.